So, last video I've made this little tool kit. Yeah, quite a nice echo in here, isn't it? <laughs> and I have done some things. I have taken the flashlight out because I have to order new batteries and I have added a super glue into it. So now I show you how to mount it on your bike. Most of the real old bikes come with those loops and in case you don't have those loops you can use the springs below it. Those are the springs and those are the springs and this is the loops made for those kind of bags. You just hook it to the loop and lock it in by just putting it in this way and then twisting it. It's practically very easy to do. Let's see if I can do it on camera. <laughs> Disappoint me. <laughs> yeah, it works. Let's take the second one. The old ones had little buckles on it, but that's a rather new one, like early 80s, late 70s, something like this. So, there we go. Now it's attached. <laughs> yeah, old school. <laughs> so, now let's take it for a ride. So I had to change the valve because it stayed open. That's a, another one that should work eventually. Let's see if it works. Yeah, that's working. That's why you have to have spare parts and a pump if you use a bike that's that old in an original condition. Yeah, this one stays in. The valve I had in it just stayed open. It suited up so a bit of brake cleaner should fix this one up. So now let me show you my bike. It's a Mastodon. It's a little silver soldier here in front. Old fashioned lighting generator powered. You just push this button and it snaps. Yeah. On here. Yeah. <laughs> No battery is required. A pump, very useful if you ride an old one fixed in place here. It's too short. Yeah. Comfortable little toolkit. Backlight. One hand brake and a scooter kickback brake style brake yeah and now let's go for a ride so i hope you have enjoyed this video i have made it home safely and i'll see you next time here at the adventures club